Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. Inna alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'afiruhu. Wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina. Man yahdihi allahu falamudilla lah, wa man yudlil falahadiya lah. Wa ashadu an la ilaha illa allahu wahdahu la sharika lah. وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Brothers and sisters in Islam What is your number one goal? in this world, in this life. We talked about this the last episode. It should be Jannah because this is the choice of your creator, the choice of your messenger for you. Quite frankly, there is nothing better of an objective out of this life than Jannah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Jannah, once it is mentioned, you feel relieved because it's a place where you will finally rest. There is a lot of confusion amongst the Muslims now. They think that this world is a resting place. No, this life that you're given, brothers and sisters in Islam, is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم He created death and life in order to test you. So this life is a testing place, not a resting place. The resting place is in Jannah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم summed up the reason behind the weakness of the Ummah. In Hadith Thawban, رضي الله عن Thawban, في Sunan Abi Dawood, when he mentioned that the nations will gather against the Muslims, and the companion said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, because we are outnumbered, he said, No, you're plenty, a lot of you are there. At the end of the Hadith, the Prophet said, Allah will cast into your hearts something called the Wahan. The companions asked, what is the definition of al-wahan, O Messenger of Allah? The Prophet ﷺ said, حب الدنيا وكراهية الموت Loving this dunya, living for this dunya, and not preparing for death, which will lead you to Jannah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, when Aisha رضي الله عنها said that the only thing we knew in Mecca about Islam was who is Allah? and Jannah and Hellfire. That is why they became so attached. Their hearts became so attached to Jannah, but their limbs are still working in order to help them to make it to Jannah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we know the Prophet ﷺ had a very tough life. We know that some days he would not even have food water, just water in his house. And he used to make dua. And the hadith في Sahih al-Bukhari, Allahumma ja'al rizq ala muhammadin quuta, rizq ala muhammadin quuta. Oh Allah, make the provision of the family of Muhammad quut. You know what quut means? That you have a meal now, and you don't know what you're going to have for the next meal, because you don't have anything. At the same time, he told us, إذا سألتم الله, if you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something, ask him for al-firdaws al-a'la, the highest level 
of paradise. This is how we should strive, brothers and sisters in Islam, in Ramadan. Look at the spirit of the companions. Fi Sahih Muslim, a companion, his name is Rabi'ah ibn Ka'b al-Aslami. Rabi'ah ibn Ka'b al-Aslami went out with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam in one of the battles. And every night he would find out when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam would wake up in order to prepare for him his wudu. He would prepare for him his water in order to help him make wudu in order for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam to pray tahajjud. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam wanted to reward Rabi'ah ibn Ka'b al-Aslami radiyallahu anh for his help. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam told Rabi'ah, sell ya Rabi'ah, ask me Rabi'ah for something. You know what Rabi'ah asked for? Ya Rasulallah, as'aluka murafaqataka fil jannah. I ask that you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make me your companion in jannah. This is how that generation, brothers and sisters in Islam, lived. Lived. They lived for jannah. You know why? Because they had the understanding of what the Jannah is. Yes, a lot of Muslims right now, they know bits and pieces about Jannah. Inshallah, in this episode and the episode to come, I want to talk to you about some of the pleasures in Jannah. Did you know that there will be some announcement made in Jannah? Like in Jannah, announcement. Somebody will announce something in Jannah. Yes, the hadith, Abi Sa'id al-Khudri, في صحيح مسلم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said إذا دخل أهل الجنة الجنة When the people of Jannah will enter Jannah نادى مناد A caller will announce Listen يا أهل الجنة O dwellers of Jannah إن لكم أن تحيوا فلا تموتوا أن تحيوا فلا تموتوا You are promised to live and never die Look at the end أبدا Never ever die. Look at the life that we have here. We're always threatened by death. We will die. You will die. إِنَّكَ مَيِّتٌ وَإِنَّهُمْ مَيِّتُونَ You will die, O Muhammad. And we will die. In Jannah, لَا يَذُوقُونَ فِيهَا الْمَوْتَ إِلَّا الْمَوْتَةَ الْأُولَى They will not taste death. Again, they tasted death already in this dunya. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained this beautiful scene in Sahih Muslim min hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari and al-Musnad, Musnad al-Imam Ahmad with more uh, information in it. Hadith Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu anhu. Listen to this. When the dwellers of Jannah enter Jannah, a caller will call. After bringing death in a form of a horned ram and that horned ram will be placed between Jannah and the hellfire. So again, death will be transformed into a horned ram and it will be placed between Jannah and the hellfire. Then a caller will call, Ya Ahlal al Jannah, O dwellers of Jannah, do you know who this is? Fayanduruna wa yashra'ibun they will look and stare and they will say, yes, we know who this is. This is death. We experience death in, death in this world. And then the same call will be made to the dwellers of the hellfire. Oh, dwellers of the hellfire, do you know who this is? They will look and stare. فَيَنْضُرُونَ وَيَشْرَئِبُونَ Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will command for that horned ram which presents death to be slaughtered in front of them. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, فَيَزْدَادُ أَهْلُ الْجَنَّةِ فَرَحًا إِلَى, فرح إلى فَرَحِهِمْ The dwellers of Jannah will increase in joy because they will not taste death again. Eternity. It will be said to them, يَا أَهْلَ الْجَنَّةِ Eternity. No more death. No more death. And it will be said also, to the dwellers of the hellfire, Ya Ahl al Nar, no more death, and they will increase in sorrow. Even death, even death they cannot get. O oh Malik, 
Can you ask Allah to make us die? قَالَ إِنَّكُمْ مَاكِثُونَ No, you will stay. Brothers and sisters in Islam, not only this, you will be in Jannah for eternity, but look at the second call. وَإِنَّ لَكُمْ أَن تَصِحُّوا فَلَا تَسْقَمُوا أَبَدًا O dwellers of Jannah, you are promised to be healthy and you will never become sick. Why would you become sick when you're going to get the shape of your father Adam, 60 arm length? This is how tall you will be once you enter Jannah. Also, the people of Jannah, and this is by the way one of the best things that I love personally about Jannah, and uh, this is uh, hadith uh, Muslim, hadith Abi Huraira, uh, hadith Jabir ibn Abdullah radiyallahu an, that the people of Jannah will not need to go to the bathroom. They will eat not out of hunger. They will drink not out of thirst. And by the way, they don't have to worry about being fat. They will eat as much as they want to eat. Their size will stay the same. Brothers and sisters in Islam, also the people in Jannah will not become sick. Look at the third call. Ya ahl al-Jannah, inna lakum an tashubbu fala tahramu abada. You will always stay young and you will never, you will never grow old in Jannah. Hadith Mu'adh ibn Jabal, radiyallahu an Mu'adh, and the hadith in Sunan al-Tirmidhi, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, يَدْخُلُ أَهْلُ الْجَنَّةِ جُرْدًا مُرْدًا The dwellers of Jannah will enter Jannah without any facial hair or body. And at the end of the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أَبْنَاءُ ثَلَاثِينَ أَوْ ثَلَاثَةٌ وَثَلَاثِينَ Their ages will be 30 or 33 years. You will not grow old. Brothers and sisters in Islam, look at the last call. For tonight, Ya أهل الجنة إن لكم أن تنعموا فلا تبأسوا أبدا. O people of Jannah, you are promised to joy, and you never, you never feel misery anymore. Rather, in Jannah, you will be forgetting all your misery, all your hardship that you have in this world. في صحيح مسلم. حديث أنس بن مالك رضي الله عنه The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said يؤتى بأبأس أهل الأرض من أهل الجنة A person who had a very difficult life in this world Look at this فيغمس غمسة واحدة في الجنة He will be dipped dipped one time only in Jannah and he will be taken out and he will be asked هل رأيت بؤسا قط Did you see misery before this? You know what he will say? لا والله يا رب I forgot all my hardships forgotten don't worry if you're going through hardships in this dunya in Jannah one dip only will make you forget about your hardships in this dunya brothers and sisters in Islam there is one more call that I want to share with you it is the greatest prize ever for the dwellers of Jannah. Insha'Allah, next episode, do not miss that announcement that will be made to the dwellers of Jannah. Ramadan is your second chance. Make your goal, Jannah. Make your goal in this life, Jannah. You will have an easy life. Insha'Allah, to be continued. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. To the light. By your grace you sent us this Quran each day that we recite. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light.